I love Huck for so many reasons. My favorite thing about Mr. Huck is every day my children would go home feeling fabulous about themselves, fabulous about their lives, and they learned how to get along well with each other and they'd have lots and lots of fun. Thanks for all your hard work, Huck. You're a gem. I love that Mr. Huck uh, takes such good care of William and he runs to him every morning and specifically on days when he is sitting in a rocking chair, this six foot three man knitting and my son runs to him and said, oh, Mr. Huck, and gives him a huge hug. Thank you for all that you do. We love you. He's funny. So, Mr. Huck, thank you so much for your patience and um, your love of our children. We think you're so funny. Ruthie loves your hats, and of course I like your hats. And um, anyway, we're just, we're just glad to have you in our lives. We enjoyed uh, our kids being with Huck because he is just the... He's the warmest, nicest guy, always um, taking care of the kids. Very good experience with uh, Mr. Huck. Well, James and I are really grateful to Huck because when we first moved here and uh, Sam first started preschool for the first time, he was very shy and is very shy. Um, but Huck made it easier for him and just made him uh, a lot more comfortable and we're so grateful to Huck for that. Thank you Huck. Hey Mr. Huck is a very sweet person. He's the type of person I always keep a smile on his face and when I'm feeling bad, don't feel like doing anything, he will come down the hall and make some kind of funny face and makes me smile. So Mr. Huck is a very nice person. He's great at his job and knows just what the children need. My first time working here, well my first day working here, first week working here, I was kind of afraid of Mr. Huck because he looked weird and then he acted pretty weird but kind of got to know him a little better and I think he's just a great guy. He's just funny and also he's um, he's very, he's very well respected and I do respect him a lot and I admire how he handles the children. He's talented. He's always a funny guy and he's just, he's cool with kids and he was always great to me in kindergarten and preschool, so. He's, he's our stepdad. Step <laughs> <laughs> hey, we used to call him names like Mr. Buckethead. Mr. Buckethead? Mr. Buckethead. Ooh. He's the best son-in-law ever. What? He's really cool! He took me to the zoo. That was fun. <laughs> Mr. Huckman is really nice. I like him. And, um... Yeah, I like him. Funny. 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 Nice. Paul's in awesome. The camera. Funny. I don't know one. Funny. Coolest person in the world. Uh, funny. Funny. Super Califragilisticexpialy no sure. Thank you for being such an amazing male role model in both of my children's lives throughout their nursery experience here. I know of him. I like Mr. Huck because he's nice. I like Mr. Huck because he's funny. I like Mr. Huck because he's tall. I like Mr. Huck because he's mysterious. I like Mr. Huck because he's nice. Louder. I like Mr. Huck because he's funny. I like Mr. Huck because he's funny. I like Mr. Huck because he's funny. I like Mr. Huck because he can be really funny. I'm glad to contribute towards your total embarrassment. Um, with telling you how much I enjoy your rebellious attitude in our faculty meetings. So my early memories of Huck are um, from a long time ago. I don't even know what year this was. It was back in the days of Mr. Pohl from New Zealand. We have good luck with our people from New Zealand. And um, Mr. Pohl and Mr. Huck did a skit about how ridiculous the school was at that time in relation to its paper usage and they were teaching in the preschool and they, they were not the kind of people who really appreciated um, having a lot of papers in their boxes and such and memos and things that revolved around the running of the school and so they had these really big stacks of paper to kind of make their point that this was something that they would really like to see different about the school and I don't know Huck, is it any better now after computers are part of our daily life or is it is it still just this bad? Working with Huck um, reminds me that it is of utmost importance that I have a sense of humor. 
He's swell. He makes every uncomfortable or sad situation easy. I've been working with Huck for maybe 10 years now and he's taught me a few things. He's taught me to know when to hold them, to know when to scold them, to know when to walk away, and to know when to run. You always count your children when you go into the gate, then you count them when you're done. Thanks, Huck. He's nurturing. Huck is amazing. Um, he's good at everything that he does and he is very down to earth, very natural, very much himself. He gave me a lot of confidence the first uh, two years that I taught with him. As a matter of fact, he helped me through my first parent interview and he was so confident of me that I had nothing to worry about. I love Mr. Huck. Hey Huck, it's been a long time. You've been here a long, long time. But I have seniority over you. You've been fun, you've been great, you've been crazy, and depth beyond belief. He was in there playing this animal game when being animals, and we guessed his animals. I come from a tradition of people who started in early care with Mr. Huff, and um, I saw the job posting and um, went and applied, and nobody even told poor Mr. Huck I was coming. So I was sitting outside the door way early in the morning, and hit the, beyond the first, <gasps> what uh, is going on here, then he was very sweet to me, <laughs> even though he didn't know somebody was coming to work with him from there. So now I'm a kindergarten teacher, and uh, thank you, Mr. Huck. It's always good to be Huckalicious, mm -hmm. isn't it? See you Sunday, and congrats again. Bye! So many things come to mind when I think of Mr. Huck. He was my child's first teacher. I think of laughter. I think of fun things. But mostly just inappropriate things. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I love Mr. Huck, and I feel very fortunate that my daughter got to have Mr. Huck in nursery and that he is now my co-worker. He was a good teacher. He, yeah, when he, I was in his class. When I was little, if I was sad, Mr. Huck would like tickle me out of my sadness. You are wet. Wow. Mr. Huck is unique. Hi, I'm Say that Huck is a bit of a rock star superhero teacher with a, um, with a gentle demeanor. And also I do think it's important to say that you can see his ass crack on YouTube. He's smart. Okay, Huck, I remember when you first came to the school and you brought Colin and you came for a, a day of observation in the kindergarten. And you lay down on the floor and played with all the kids. And at the end of the day, he, you said, forget Colin, I want to be here. And at that time, I wasn't looking for an assistant, but later on in the year, I was. And I had to choose between you and a woman. And I was thinking, hmm, a guy, kindergarten teacher? What? Who ever heard of such a thing? But I did decide on you, and it was the best year of all my teaching years. It was so much fun to work with you, and I would not give up that memory for anything in the world. Bless you. Mwah. He's an extraordinary super diaper changer. The children request him, even for number two. So the, one of the first things that uh, Isabel said about Mr. Huck after she came home the first week or two from school was, Mr. Huck's the diaper changer. That was his official name. And now he's Mr. Hucky. Okay, one day at um, drop-off in the nursery class, there was a little boy standing at the gate, really sad that his mother had left, and he was leaning out saying, Mommy, Mommy, and he was getting more upset, and other children were noticing and going to the door, too, and it was, the anxiety was kind of rising, and Mr. Huck went over to the door, and he leaned out, up above them all, and leaned his head out, to, out over the gate, and he said, Mommy, Mommy. And all the kids suddenly were laughing and looking at him, and it was just a funny moment. It was a, it was a Mr. Huck genius moment. From that very first day that I met him, I learned so much about how to manage a class um, quietly and with such love and compassion for the children. And um, I didn't think he could fit more kids in his lap, but he always seemed to have room for anyone who needed to sit with him. Oh, Mr. Huck and I, we go way, way back. Uh, 
I'll never forget the time he saved me from those pirates and ninjas. We fought them all. It was a tough night, but it, we did it. We love you, Huck. All right, well, when I think of Mr. Huck, I just laugh. I just have to smile because he's just so funny and entertaining. He chews his food with his mouth closed. Mr. Huck is probably one of the most important teachers in our school. Whether he's helping another teacher out to teach their class or helping the nursery, um, he is loved by all students. So Mr. Huck was one of the first teachers that I worked with when I came to the school. He's definitely entertaining, but he's got a quiet wisdom that he brings to his work as well. He is funny. He is effing funny. Yeah, Huck's okay. He's kind of annoying. Um, especially when he comes around my house. Tell him uh, next time I see him, he better bring a case of beer to replace what he drank the last time he was there. He's a cool cat. I don't think I could have been a teacher without Huck. Huck taught me how to be a teacher and he taught me how to have fun while being a teacher. Thank you, Huck. I just love Mr. Huck as a parent because he was the only teacher who was able to make my three years old stop crying and start laughing. And I love him as a colleague because he is so much fun and he has this wonderful gift, of, you know, teaching gift that, you know, I admire. Huck, you do a great job over there on the playground. and. It is. It just seems long, long that I've known you and your kids and my kid has played and hung out and now they're off doing their thing, good or bad. It is what it is. It was during the war. Huck and I were trapped behind enemy lines. It was really bad and I got hit and quick as a flash, Huck pulled out his, his knitting needles, which he always carries with him, and he made me a cat. It saved my life. Thank you, Huck. I love you, man. Oh, hunk a hunk of bird in love. That's Huck. <laughs> Once we had a bird in the roof of our classroom, and he came, him and Miss Marie came and got it out for us. And he keeps our classrooms clean and he keeps the hallways clean. He's very important. I so value his input and his guidance over the 12 years that I've been here. Thanks, Huck. Splendid. Hi, I'm Kelly. And both of my kids have been at Redmont and have been in Mr. Huck's class. And I have a partner named Marcy, and Mr. Huck can never remember our names. He always calls me Marcy and calls her Kelly. So, over the years, I have just answered to Marcy, and she's answered to Kelly. And that is, has become a joke for us. Yeah, he's a good person. I, I have no, no bad words to say about him, but... Uh, I wish I could have said something about it. Awesome and insane. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Great with kids. He's funny, nice, and probably one of the best teachers I have had and will probably ever have. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. Huck's just a really nice guy. He can make you laugh at anything. Gotta love Huck. A man that can knit and loves Elvis. What more can you ask for? Hey, Mr. Huck is awesome. He makes my daughter smile every morning that I drop her off. Uh, so much so that she named her favorite pet unicorn after him. Oh, I know Huck? Yeah, I know Huck. What about that night in Memphis? I had all that money and where'd he go? He took off. Money was gone. He was gone. That was it. I don't know about that guy. Even if he is my stepfather. Where's my money at, Huck? <laughs> I remember John Huckstein from 20 years ago when he came to the Alabama Symphony and did an entire routine over an Rossini Overture. It was remarkable. He was the pre-stomp janitor with a broom that wouldn't quit. He, he was my cellmate at Lurleen Wallace Women's Correctional Facility in 1991. He taught me everything I needed to know about surviving in a women's prison, like how to make a bra out of toilet paper. I really wouldn't have made it without you, Huck. You mean a lot to me. Thank you. One word that describes him? Humorous. Fantastic. Ridiculous. Silly. Fashionable. I love you, I love you, I love you! Patient. Lively. Cool. Silly. Phenomenal. 
Silly. Amazing. Hey. Awesome. Love. Funny. Smiles. Zamichatilne. Good person. Mentor. Teacher. Funny. Gentle. Just dear. Awesome. Everything you could want a human being to be. Delicious. Pretty hilarious. Sunshine. One word for John Huckstein. Broken television. Fun. <laughs> we love you, Huck. Mwah. We love, we love you, you, Huck. Um, Huck is, uh, he's really attentive to the kids. He's, um, uh, out of all of the teachers here, he's the one that I think has, like, eyes in the back of his head. He's really aware of what each child's doing, engaged with the children. He is constantly um, in tune with the children here at uh, AWS. <laughs> He's so caring with the kids. Huck. I'm not really quite sure about Huck. He's a. Uh, he's um. He's not really all there. Um, I think he needs some serious medication. Uh, and I think a, a, a nice trip. A trip would do Huck good. In a raise, <laughs> then definitely a raise would be great. And cocktails around what, one o'clock? Right. Mm -hmm. Get off around 12:30. Yeah. Um. <laughs>